Learning about who you are requires a lot of things. It requires a lot of time to yourself. It allows you to detach yourself from what other people expect from you. And it requires you to reduce the amount of noise that people put around you. I feel like most people never learn how to be by themselves. Sometimes it's a form of dependency. Other times it's just about what they're used to. From the time they're younger, they go from being around family all the time to being around their friends all the time to then having significant others, etc. And they never really learn about themselves, who they are, and how they can grow as an individual. Now, there's a difference between being alone and being lonely. I feel like lonely is more of a mental thing. You can be around 10, 15, 20 people and still feel lonely. I feel like loneliness comes from longing for a connection with somebody, but not having it. And that leads to feelings of you know, not being good enough, some sort of resentment, etc. Whereas being alone more so means that you're by yourself as an individual. You know, because let's say I decide to go to a restaurant by myself, right? I've gone there with the intention of ordering, eating, enjoying my own free time to myself. To me, that's different than being lonely. A while back, maybe a few years ago, I've kind of gone into the stage where I'm happy to do everything solo. I feel like going places solo allows me to slow down and embrace who I am, embrace where I'm at, embrace the environments I'm able to visit, and it allows me to take in positive energy as opposed to being forced to feeling like I have to be somewhere with other people. I feel like a lot of people avoid going solo because they don't want to go to festivals by themselves or sporting events by themselves or just participate in things by themselves. They always have to be with other people. I mean, think about it. If you're a person that wants to go traveling a lot or go to different places and do a lot of sightseeing, when you're with other people, it sometimes is kind of hard to take in what you're visiting. When you're a person who never goes anywhere by yourself and never experiences anything by yourself, you become dependent upon other people to create that experience for you. Well, look, I'm here to tell you that you really don't have to do that. It's okay to go places, visit places around town, try new foods, do all these different things without having somebody else with you. Another big benefit of doing things by yourself is that you get to come and go as you please. You're not forced into waiting for your friend or the party to get done talking to other people or get done doing something. Or if one person wants to leave early, then everybody has to go. So you know, going solo allows you to have more freedom as well. And the last point I want to talk about is just the fact that I feel like we learn more about ourselves in solitude than we do with other people. When you're around others 100% of the time, it can sometimes be hard to be yourself. I like to refer to it as groupthink when the ideas of the group supersede the individual. Some might call it a mob mentality, etc. And again, you might start feeling awkward at first when you start going to places by yourself, but you get over it pretty quickly. I remember back in those days where I used to always go places with other people, and I would just look around and see the guy walking through the festival with his headphones on, just looking around, or you know, going to a restaurant and seeing a guy sitting down and he's on his laptop or his tablet, he's just enjoying himself. So, and I would be like, man, I wish I was that guy right now. So, like I said, being by yourself is not a bad thing. Going solo to places is not a negative. It doesn't mean you're a loner or you're awkward. It just means that you want to enjoy things by your lonesome. And that's perfectly cool. But anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. If you enjoy this content, be sure to drop a like below, leave a comment, share your thoughts, and subscribe for more.